John here guys and today I'm talking about the 533 switchback. Yes, this is the championship edition frame of the same frame that was used to win the multi GP Nationals 2019 by heads up FPV Evan Turner. Who is that fighter? Who is the best pilot I ever saw? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh you're looking at him. <laughs> This is his signature frame. It is finally here. It is finally out. Uh, I understand that a few people that attended the uh, Nationals Pro Class were able to get some early access to some of these, but now I have one of my very own, and it is built up, ready for electronics to go in, uh, but here is the frame overview. So when I first saw images of this thing coming up, I couldn't help but think that... Um, like some of the comments I got in my local crew, uh, this looks like just a generic frame. And I, at first glance, I kind of thought the same thing, but after getting my hands on this, there is a few uh, notable things about this frame that are unique. And also, it is a collection of a lot of different build design philosophies integrated into one cohesive lightweight but very rigid package now where does this rigidity come from well it comes from uh, the evolution of arm uh, replaceable arm design now the arms on the switchback fit into this slotted channel mid plate that's right mid plate there is a bottom plate on here that has countersunk screw holes so that the bottom part where your battery would sit is perfectly flat love that uh, then there is a sort of uh, upper bottom plate that has a series of these captive nuts um, these self locking nuts what do we call those I can't remember it has these captive nuts which allow you to one mount your stack on them and two, be able to create a very firm sandwich fit on those arms. Now, the sandwich fit was something that we figured out a couple of years ago. Prior to that, we did not use the sandwich. We just had like some nuts on the top and some standoffs. And um, anybody that flew the original first couple of floss iterations would know that you would get wiggly arms after a while. Well, part of the answer to that was having a sandwich design, which was a plate on the top and a plate on the bottom to keep those locked in firmly along with two screw holes. But what takes this one step further is having this small channeled third mid plate in the middle. That makes it super easy for you to slap your arm in and out if you need to do an arm replacement and it also adds some additional rigidity and it makes sure that the arm goes slotted perfectly in the right space. It does not require, um, like say some of the campfire or other things that require the screws to guide those, which will eventually wear, or a aluminum middle plate, like say the Floss 3, Floss 3 Lite, or FPV Flight Club Proton uses. It's just another way of doing it. I don't know if this is necessarily better or worse than the aluminum mid plate, but I bet it does uh, reduce the weight. Um, speaking of weight, this comes in with all of the TPU parts at 70.5 grams. Uh, pretty light indeed. That is with the middle hardware. And I, speaking of that, I love when frames come with the perfectly um, sized M3 screws for your stack. You're always looking for a screw that's either shorter or taller. They need four of them. This comes with it. So those screws in the middle came with that. Comes with these nice gray, silverish, knurled standoffs. This uh, frame is sized for a nano size camera mount. One of the first on the market that is designed for that. Nano is the way that all the racers are going. Um, I'm pretty much switching all of my frames over to nano. Anyway, so this is perfect. I love that it moves the turtle, fo uh, turtle mode fin spike to the front. Gives it kind of a cool little look as it's zipping through the air. And uh, this camera nano mount gives you a fixed, uh, I believe that's probably like 45 or 50 degrees, somewhere in there. 
Uh, speaking of TPU parts, all of the three TPU parts together only add four grams, very light. They are thin. The prints are not, maybe not on the same level as like Brain or, or Phoenix, but they're still plenty good enough. They're very um, tough. I love how scant they were able to make this rear SMA mount right here. And it actually looks really, really cool. It fits through the little slots on the top plate. And uh, then you can hold it in with a zip tie or these actually, these, these rearward uh, standoff screws hold it in place just fine. Look how small it is. Uh, this is one of the lightest weight SMA mounts that I have seen uh, by using a little bit less. One other notable thing is that the screws that hold the arms together hold this top and middle um, lower portion plates together to create the arm sandwich. Um, those are not the same screws that the standoffs are sitting on. You can notice because we're using a nano camera, those uh, standoff screws were able to be brought in further closer together. Uh, same thing at the rear, these are not using these. So I think that's gonna add, having them a little bit closer together, a little bit of extra strength. Um, so I can't wait to get this thing built up. I believe I have a set of those same motors that Evan used to win the championship. So I'm gonna probably throw those on there with, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick through my list of stuff for a nice 20 by 20 stack. What do you think guys? What frame are you going for the 2020 season? There's so many amazing options out here, but if you are one of those nostalgic guys that want the championship edition, this colorway being offered by 533 is an excellent option. I know those of us that were in the Honda community back from the 90s, if you rocked out in a B-Series Honda back in those days, which I had several, I had a couple of Integra GSRs, I had a Civic SI that I supercharged, I had a Civic hatchback that I put a GSR engine in, and every one of those Honda Acura guys back in the day, we all wanted that championship white Honda uh, or Acura in the United States, Integra Type R. Now that was that special off-white coloring that they called championship white. And uh, so I really like that they're kind of doing the same thing. They're offering the same color package that Evan used to win the championship. This is championship, uh, what is it, like a, like a turquoise blue aquamarine? I don't know. I will find out what they're actually calling this colorway and post in the description below. Links in the description below as always. Great job guys on the design of this. I believe uh, from what I read, Armando also had a lot of design input into this thing. So good job. Obviously it performs exceptionally well. What other frame has won the championship at MotoGP this year? Thanks guys.